Uh, hi all, uh, welcome back to my shed. Um, this is a laser cutter that I've recently purchased for my wife's business. Um, it's a Chinese made GY460, I think is the model number, and um, I've had quite a few troubles working out how to use it early on due to the manual being rubbish um, but I thought I'd put up some settings and whatnot of uh, what I've been using to uh, cut with from different materials so I've got some mirrored acrylic uh, yeah. I've been using coloured acrylics You get the idea. <coughs> Three mil birch plywood down the bottom there, and a few different colours of uh, mirror acrylic, flat acrylic, solid acrylic, whatever. All three mil, but so through weeks and weeks of trial and error, I've come up with. Uh, some settings for the laser cutter that most people should be able to apply to their own laser cutter varying the settings if your laser is less power this is an 80 watt one it's, I think they're normally 60 watt it's got an upgraded laser tube so it's a bit more powerful so over here, these are the settings I've had so far. I've got a uh, 3mm clear, clear acrylic from a shop in Australia called Bunnings. It's a home home hardware store. I've worked out you need to engrave at 330mm a second at 5% power. Uh, so, in this program here, it's Corel Draw. Um, up in the corner here. It's got a tiny little plug-in and that plug-in controls the laser. I've already got a job going at the moment though so I won't touch it because I don't want to stuff the job up. So you adjust the cutting speed in that software and on my laser machine you adjust the power level which is over here, you can see at the moment I've got it set to eight percent power of the eighty watts, and uh, it is just doing an engraving job at the moment. So <sighs> normally, for the three mil Bunnings acrylic, I engrave at three hundred thirty millimeters a second for five percent power cut at 10 millimeters a second 10% power I found that if um, I use too much power on the edge of the acrylic it tends to warp the end of the acrylic but then if you use too little power and uh, it doesn't quite cut all the way through you end up making the uh, the acrylic cloudy uh, here for the 3 mil birch plywood engraving at 310 uh, millimeters a second at 8% power um, in wood, in the in the plywood, that gives quite a deep engrave. Um, I've got the machine there going at the moment at 400 millimeters a second because we really need to punch these jobs out quite fast. And to cut that, I've got 23 millimeters a second at 80% 80, 80 power. Um, so I've adjusted it a little bit because um, recently the weather's been really hot and the laser hasn't been as efficient as it was when I first bought it um, and so I've put it down to 19 millimeters a second at 80 percent power come down to 3 mil mirror acrylic um, for some reason silver cuts really well and gold cuts really terrible I've not tried engraving it yet um, I did do one test piece on it and it came up absolutely terrible uh, with the mirrored 
finish being painted on the very back side of the acrylic so it'll end up if you engrave it, it'll frost the surface but it won't touch the mirrored section it just looks really strange um, but to cut it 10 millimeters a second at 15% power and then come down to these two here these two uh, sorry this one here mirrored gold acrylic I found that if I cut the mirrored acrylic with the mirror facing up it ends up burning the mirrored finish off the back of the acrylic and bubbling it so what I have ended up doing is turning the acrylic face down like this and spraying the back with some water and so what I do put the acrylic in the machine flip the design over so it's mirrored so it comes out the correct way on the front side you'll be able to see there's a pretty clean cut most of the way around but as the water started to dry up it started to char the back of the the paint the mirrored paint um, nothing I can really do about that because it's a laser it gets hot and it vaporizes things including water um, yeah that's about all for that so when I've put the water on the surface which is normally a puddle almost a mill thick covering the whole surface um, it will then cut at 10 millisecond at 20% power and I've just got their reverse side up with water spray so I found that if I used any more than 20% power it would end up bubbling the mirror even with the water on it and if I used any less than say 15 uh, maybe 18% it wouldn't cut all the way through on the front so I'd have to crack the letters out of the backing um, and it end up leaving jagged edges um, and sometimes cracking the piece itself last on the list 3mm true glass satin which is just my solid colors uh, and translucent colors I just they don't tend to go cloudy doesn't matter how much power you use you use too much obviously you're gonna char the edges but I found that 10 millimeters is pretty good and 15% power for that and you'll see there I finished this job so what I'm got to do now I need to cut this job out so I've moved the wrong piece okay you'll see here I selected that piece of the job I'm going to go up to my little plug-in and I get this coming up now what I don't want to do is move the job you can actually see the job there a little bit I've got my speed set to 19mm and off my birch plywood I am going to go Blast the power up to 80% and it should cut around that. So, what we'll do, hit the old start button right here, and you can see that it's cutting out the test line that I draw. Oh, sorry, the test circle just so everything lines up properly. You'll see it's cutting. Don't know what that noise was, sorry. Random noises, I guess, are just the perks of having a Chinese built laser. Obviously, they're a bit cheaper, or sort of $15,000 cheaper than one of the big brand names like a Trotec or an Epilogue. Um, but it's enabled us to get our business going and it's doing quite well so far, so Quite a bit of smoke coming out the reason there's so much smoke in the cabinet at the moment is because all that got close edge is because um, I've got a really really small Pipe on the back of it. The pipe's not quite big enough for an exhaust um, I've got to use the get out of the 
door over there. But um, I will be purchasing a bigger diameter pipe when we've got some more funds. And so we'll just pick this up and we'll check that it's cut out properly. See quite a fair bit of smoke. It hasn't cut out properly, so what I'll do close it back up and just go back up to here and exactly the same thing again now it'll just go back around and cut exactly the same place I've just cut um, it's about three quarters of the way through uh, hey people welcome back so it took my camera a little bit longer this time to cool because you know Xperia's are knowing known for sort of just Burn, bursting into flames, not quite as bad as a Samsung, but the Z3 was pretty well known to be very hot in your pants. Um, so you can see here, the job's finished. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue with the job falling through because I didn't have anything behind it. And uh, when it fell through, it was still cutting this edge. And because it's fallen a little bit, obviously, the optimal distance from the job for the laser is uh, nine millimeters, which is so high, about there, ish. Uh, it changed the focal length and made the focal uh, made the made the laser beam a little bit wider and ended up taking a little bit of an edge off. Um, not too bad, I fixed it up with some sanding, um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, uh, if you got any questions, just leave, leave a comment, thanks for watching, bye!